Now in this video I wanted to talk about electrical problems. Electrical problems you might find on a motor, for example. It doesn't matter if you're working on a motor or, you know, any kind of electrical equipment. You're still going to have one of three problems. Open, short, and ground. Now in a previous video I explained to you what a short was. I basically said that is when you shorten the path. You just don't have as long a path and because of that the amperage goes up. But the other one, this one's kind of easy to talk about, which is an open. What is an open? An open is basically a break in the line. So if we happen to have, let's say, a winding like this, like that, and that happened, well, that would be an open. If this happened, well, that's also an open, but we can fix this. That is just an open switch. So that is an open, but that is an open on a motor. Now let's say that, let's say we're talking about a three-phase motor. Three-phase motor, typically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your three windings, one like this, one like this, and one like that. And let's say from here to here, we're supposed to have, let's say, two ohms here to here, we're supposed to have two ohms also, and this one here, and this one here, we also have two ohms like this, okay? So regardless how you look at it, between these two, you're gonna have two ohms, these two, you're gonna have two ohms, these two, you're gonna have two ohms also. If this was to break open like this, then what would happen? When we check between here and here, we would get what they call OL, open lead or open line. On this one here, the path would be from here to here, and because that's broken, on this one also we would get open lead and open line. Now on a motor, let's say we have a three-phase motor, and typically, in this example anyway, we're gonna have, let's say, one, two, three wires coming out. And in this example, we're gonna have this one labeled T1, T2, and T3. So what we're doing here is we're checking across these and we wanna make sure that we get the same two, two, and two across all of these right here. So this would be two ohms, this would be two ohms, and between here and here, we would also have two ohms on that. Now one thing I wanted to make sure I explained was that between any of these lines and the casing, what should you get? Between any of these lines and the casing, you should get OL. You should always get OL. But this is an example of what an open is. So we can have an open that is like this with a switch. We can have an open, which is the break in the lines. This is how we would be able to find it. So we would take our ohmmeter and check across here and make sure that the one that has the OL, we know that that is the one that is open. And to be honest with you, there's really not much we can do about that except to replace the motor. Except to replace the motor. Now, uh, my name is Julio, Aircon Academy. I hope this helped and Make sure that you uh, follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and if you have any suggestions, any questions about electrical motors, problems, air conditioning, and all that, please go ahead and send me a message. I'll see what I can do about getting the video online for you. The reason I'm doing this is because somebody asked about this, so here's the video for you. Thank you.